The chair recognizes the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Jones, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I am on the floor today to bring attention to an article from the World Affairs Journal titled Money Pit, the Monstrous Failure of U.S. Aid to Afghanistan. This is an eight-page eight article documenting case after case of American tax dollars being wasted in Afghanistan. I would like to bring one specific example to your attention, keeping in mind that many more months have now passed since this article was published, and these figures are now even larger. And I quote, in a recent quarterly report, the United States Special Inspector General for Afghan Reconstruction said that when security for aid workers is figured, the total amount of non-military funds Washington has appropriated since 2002 is approximately $100 billion, more than the United States has ever spent to rebuild a country. I further quote, since then, Congress has appropriated another $16.5 billion for reconstruction, and all that has not brought the United States or the Afghan a single sustainable institution or program. As I traveled through the 3rd District of North Carolina last week, I spoke on this subject many times and was met with frustration from the audience at the waste of taxpayers' money in Afghanistan. When I went on to explain that the Afghan parliament was able to vote on the bilateral strategic agreement that we are in the process of finalizing with Afghanistan, but we have not even debated the issue in the House, the individuals with whom I spoke were incredibly disappointed in Congress. Mr. Speaker, we cannot blame the American people for wanting a vote on this agreement, which will spend billions of American dollars in Afghanistan with little to no accountability over at least the next 10 years. This is not a partisan issue. Congressman Jim McGovern and I have signed a letter asking the leadership of both parties for a debate on the expenditure of tax dollars to prop up the corrupt nation of Afghanistan. To further explain why this debate is necessary, I will briefly read two more examples from the Money Pit article. And I quote, the Special Inspector General's Office, widely known as CIGAR, noted that for the 2012 and 2013 fiscal years, the United States has been providing Afghanistan practically the most corrupt nation on earth with $1.5 billion in fuel for the Afghan military. Even though the United States has made no effort to determine how much fuel the military actually requires. And I further quote, the article goes on to cite a GAO report stating that $130 million Afghan contractors built a large shower bathroom facility without holes in the walls or floor for plumbing and drains. What's more, the walls were constructed of crumbling cinder blocks. The report blamed insufficient oversight. Mr. Speaker, it is time that we bring to a close the era of waste, fraud, and abuse of the United States resources overseas and in Afghanistan. Mr. Speaker, I hope the leadership of both parties will allow this Congress to debate whether we de should stay in Afghanistan for 10 more years. If the parliament in Afghanistan can have that debate, why can't the United States House of Representatives? In closing, I would like to ask God to please bless our men and women in uniform and their families. And I'll close by saying we have spent enough blood and treasure on this failed policy in Afghanistan. Let's debate the issue and stop spending the taxpayers' money in Afghanistan. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.